Joining me now is the world champion in the heptathlon, Great Britain's Katarina Johnson-Thompson. Katarina, what do you say about that? It couldn't be any closer. No, it was it was super close, and the last person you want to be competing against in the 800s. Anna Hall, she's such a feel, fearless competitor, and yeah, I didn't know if I had the legs for it, so I'm so happy that I was able to pull it off and just not let the gap get too big. Well, come to the 800 in the second was an incredible race, but overall after day one, where did you feel you were? Uh, you know, you've suffered injuries in the past, form has been up and down at times. You were the, the, the champion back before, but how did you feel coming into day two? Coming into day two, I felt strong. It was um, the morning of day one where I felt like I was falling back into the 2022 me. Um, it was almost identical performances to Eugene. So I was so happy I was able to sort of not get fall into that sort of pace and, and build mm -hmm. momentum from yesterday's evening session onwards. And it's just got better and better and better. And then listen, with that 800, it pretty much after seven events, it comes down to this. Yeah. What's your mindset going into that race? Just not let that gap go? Yeah, basically it was the times went out the window. You know, I think when you're running for something, all, all I've ever wanted to do in athletics or in the heptathlon is toe the line in the 800 and have a chance. And today I did, and that's what that's what we're all here for. <laughs> and listen, just finally, that last 20 meters, did you know? Did you know you were there? I, or I don't even know what 20 meters is. I was trying to figure it out in terms of like shot put distance, but it's about three seconds as well. So I, I thought I sort of knew. I was counting my head as soon as she crossed the line. One, two, and yeah, I knew. <laughs> listen, congratulations, world champion yet again. Uh, we'll see you soon, probably in Paris next year.